even if we build large amounts of electric vehicle factories in this country, we build large amounts of battery cell manufacturing facilities. Right now, the metals that feed those batteries, less than 1% of each of those metals are actually manufactured in the U.S. So it makes those very large facilities dependent on foreign materials. It makes it much more expensive to source those materials. And it makes it a higher environmental footprint to have those metals extracted in foreign countries than have them transported to the U.S. So back at the end of last summer in the bipartisan infrastructure bill, large amounts of funding were passed by both parties, specifically towards ramping up primary battery metals manufacturing in the U.S., and then also specifically for the recycling of lithium-ion batteries. So that passed back in August and September, and then just over the past two months, a lot of those dollars have actually made their ways to specific opportunities. So just a week ago today, you know, the Department of Energy announced about $3.1 billion in funding to now start building commercial scale facilities of battery recycling facilities and of these primary battery metals facilities. And Nevada is uniquely positioned to really take advantage of this since it has a lot of the cell manufacturing capacity already. It has one of the highest resources of lithium within the domestic U.S. And we have, you know, a battery recycling facility under construction here as well. So it's great to have support from the industry recently. And now also having the federal government really step in and help ramping up the commercialization of these facilities.